Our lesson for today will be looking at chemistry 1501. The topic for today is molarity and molality. Lesson 101, let us start. Molarity and molality is one of the concepts that my students had challenges with during examination preparation. So this lesson video is meant to make you understand these two concepts better. The first thing that we should understand based on these topics, let us start with molality. You should know that molality, which we use symbol M to represent molality, of a solution is defined as the amount of solute in moles divided by kilograms of solvent. I normally write it like this. It's the number of moles of a solvent, actually of a solute I meant, divide by the mass of a solvent. You should know that the moles should be in mole, solvent should be in, I mean the mass of the solvent should be in kilograms, not in grams. So once you master this equation, and then it should be very simple. Now, the other challenges that we have faced during examination preparation is that the conversion from kilograms to grams. You should know that when you convert from kilograms to grams, we multiply by 1000. It means that when we convert from grams to kilograms, we have to divide by 1000. So this is the conversion. Remember in this equation, the mass must be in kilograms. And then the number of moles we normally use, N is equals to M over M. If you are given the mass of the substance that you are calculating, that you're looking for its molality. Then this is the mass in grams of the substance that will be given. This is the molar mass that we can basically find from the periodic table. After finding this number of moles, that is when you have to substitute the number of moles here and the mass of the solvent here, and then you'll get your molality. So general ex explanation of this concept. Suppose we have a solute here and our solvent here and then we mix the two inside a container then from there we can calculate the molality of this new substance using the moles of a solute the moles of this one calculate the number of moles of this one over the mass of our solvent which is this one let us look at an example let's say we have these two substances and then we actually mix the two we have 29.22 grams of sodium chloride and 2.0 grams of water we mix the two then let us find the molality of this now the first thing that you have to do now, we have to calculate the number of moles of this because we are not given the number of moles, but we are given the mass in grams. So we are going to use this equation. The mass is 29.22. The mass must be in grams. And then the molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.44. Then we get that our answer is 0 0.50 mole. So this is the number of moles that we are looking for. So using the molality equation, the number of moles is 0 0.50 divided by the mass in grams is 2.00. Then we get that it's 0 0.25. Remember that it's moles over kg so this is the SI unit but let us write this in a correct manner the moles is um, measured in mole and then kg or we can say 0 0.25 molality so 
so you can see how we calculate the molarity when we are given the mass of a substance first thing that you have to do you have to calculate the number of moles then you'll be able to get the mass of actually the number of moles then you'll be able to get the molality of the substance provided you're given the mass of the solvent let us look at another example but this example is a bit different from the previous one suppose we have a solution that has a molality of 9.0 mole per kilograms and then the molecular formula of the solution is kf and then it was dissolved inside a 250 grams of wood what is the mass of the potassium fluoride now we know that to find the mass of the substance you are going to use this equation whereby this is the mass of the substance and then this is the molar mass of kf but the problem is that we don't have the number of moles but we are given the molality of the solution so we can go ahead and use the molality equation and then we know that the molality is 0 0.929 equals to we are looking for the number of moles let us say it's n over the mass of the substance is i mean the mass of the solvent which is our water in this case is 250 grams but when we divide this by 1000 we are going to get 0 0.250 kilograms then we multiply both sides by 0 0.250 then this will get rid of this and then we have number of moles as uh, 0 0.232 mole then from here we can use our equation 0 0.232 is equals to m over the molar mass of kf it's 58.1 then multiply both sides by M we are going to get 13.49 grams so you can see that we can use this equation whenever we want to answer questions based on molality where the question requires you to find the mass the molar mass the mass of the solvent it depends on the question but we can use this equation the moment we are given that the molality of the certain solution is this or we are looking for the molality now that you understand the molality let us go ahead and talk about molarity the two are very much different when we talk about molarity we are talking about the number of moles of solid in exactly one liter of a solution that's how you need this mole per liter and you should know that the equation to calculate the molarity it's equals to the mole or the number of moles of solute over the the volume of the solution in liters then the SI unit is mole per liter let us go ahead and look at the first example let's say we have a solution having 0 0.30 liters and then it has 0 0.50 mole of sodium chloride 
the question is what is the molarity of this so the first step that we do we write the equation then from there we substitute the moles we have 0 0.50 divided by the volume you can see that is in liters 0 0.30 and then we can go ahead and find our answer which will be 1.667 mole per liter our second example suppose we have this substance here calcium hydroxide and then we want to produce a solution of 500 milliliters that is our desired preparation and then we want the solution to have a molarity of um, 1.66 mole per liter the question is how many grams of calcium hydroxide do we need we are looking for the mass of calcium hydroxide that is needed to prepare 500 milliliter of a solution that has a molarity of 1.66 Let us go ahead and calculate. Now we are looking for the mass, so we are given the molarity as 1.66. So let us go ahead and start by writing the equation. Number of moles over the volume. And you can see that this equation is basically um, the same as the concentration. So the molarity is 1.66 equals to, we are looking for the number of moles over the volume to be 500 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 3 we divide by 1000 another conversion that we should take note milliliters to liters we divide by 1000 remember that our volume here should be in liters the reason why we start with this equation is that we have this equation here we are looking for this so we need this and then basically we always have this so in order to find this we need to use this equation of molarity I mean molarity so from here we can multiply by the number causing the fraction which is 500 times 10 to the power negative 3 both sides and then this will get rid of this and then we have n is equals to 0 0.83 mole and then from here we can use our equation n is equals to m over m where we see n is substituted by 0 0.83 equals to the m and then the molar mass of calcium hydroxide is 74.092 and we can go ahead and multiply both sides by 74.092 this will get rid of this then we get that our mass that is needed is 61.0 496 grams now the challenge that we had or let me say one of the questions that were asked by one of my students based on this it was when we have two substances let's say we have butane and another solvent we can say it's sodium chloride and then both of this they have the mass let's say the mass is one grams
This one is two grams. Then both of them, they have volumes. V of this one, two liters. V of this one, let us make it 0 0.5 liters. And then we mix the two. After mixing the two, the question would say, calculate the molarity and the molality of um, this solution. Now you should know that in the question, they should specify which one is a solvent, which one is a solute. Suppose this one is a solute, this one is a solvent. I want you to understand that we don't normally or we don't always mix um, a particular substance and water only. We can mix different types of substances. As long as we have a solute and a solvent, everything should be um, simple. And then when we calculate the molality of this, remember that molality is the number of moles divided by the mass of a solvent. So we are going to take the number of moles of this one. We are going to calculate the number of moles from this two grams. After finding it, we are going to substitute it here. And then we are going to take the mass in kilograms. We must convert this in kilograms. We substitute it here and then we are going to find the molality of this. Now when it comes to molarity, it will be a bit different. One of the examples where we calculated molality, or I mean molarity of um, this type of an example, a student asked, why did you combine the two volumes? Because remember that molarity is the number of moles of a solute over the, the volume of the solution. So we look at the number of moles of a solute, we are going to find it from the mass of the solute. But when it comes to the liters, we are not going to take two liters the way it is. We must combine the two because remember that we are calculating the molarity of this substance, the new substance after adding the two. We are not calculating the molarity of this um, substance. We are looking at the molality and molarity of the two. Remember that when you calculated the molality, I said we take the number of moles from this and we take the mass of this. If we are calculating based on one substance, we should use only this. But we are talking about a new substance or a new solution after mixing the two. It means that we are going to use both of um, the given to calculate the desired question. So the liters, it will be L of butane plus L of sodium chloride. And then we are going to find the molarity of this substance. I hope this question is um, answered and the substances of molality and molarity is well understood after watching this lesson video. The next lesson video will be based on um, one of the challenges that we had in the examination preparation of chemistry 1501, which is the mole fraction and the partial fraction. The next lesson video will be based on that. That's it for this lesson video. This is Fahula SJ. Thank you very much.